The next question is uh, drills for using your hips when swinging. Uh, Coach Donnie's asking that. So, you know, we always, we like to use the, the PVC pipe. We love to, use, love to use the connection ball. We use it all the time. So I'm gonna show you a real simple drill um, just using the PVC pipe. So what you can do is you can take the PVC pipe, put it over your shoulders, and you're in your, and you're in your hitting stance. You can put the tee down, put a wiffle ball on there, and what you actually do is you actually get the hitter to turn their hips, and with the PVC pipe, they knock the ball off of the tee and they're getting ready, they're getting set and they're turning their hips. So this is a really good, a really good way. Another good way is to actually open them up in a 45 degree angle, have them really turn their hips this way. So you're really over exaggerating the turn 45 degrees and they're doing the same exact thing. They're turning their hips to hit the ball. You don't want them to do this with their upper body. The PVC pipe should never be straight kind of like straight across. It should be in this position where the T is. So I'm down, I'm really getting into my hip, I'm loading it up, and I'm turning, I'm firing, I'm knocking into the, knocking the ball off the T. That's a really good one um, to help with that. We also use the connection ball. We can use the connection ball, putting it near our right bicep. We hold the bat like this, and we're actually using our body to turn the ball, the bat, to the ball. So we're really using our lower half to get to the ball. So, you know, those are some simple ways of, you know, it doesn't have to be a PVC pipe. You can use a broomstick, you can use their bat, you can pretty much use any stick that you want, but it gets their body to feel what posture's like and how to use their, their lower half to, to bring their top half to the ball. So. Hopefully those are some drills that, that it can help. Do you have any? Yeah, that, that's a good one because I think it ties into the next question, question from Coach Peter. I think anytime we're talking about explosiveness, whether it's a hitter or a pitcher, it's getting the kids to understand how to use their body properly. Yeah. And, you know, I'm a big fan of any explosive type exercise. So it might just be using a light medicine ball and working on medicine ball slams to their left, to their right you know, reach up and slam through the ground. I have an eight-year-old hitter who, he's a really good hitter and he's got a great swing, but it almost looks like sometimes when he gets the contact, like that ball's controlling his bat. And he doesn't necessarily trust the fact that he can be explosive through the ball. And, you know, I was telling him the other day, I'd rather you swing and miss and, and go full speed. You know, it's only strike one, as opposed to, well, I'm gonna try to swing 50% and make contact. Well, you're gonna be out if you do that. So, you know, no strikes, one strike. We wanna be aggressive through it. Like Duke was saying, using the PVC pipe, using the connection ball to teach the body how to move properly. I think it ties right into, you know, at-home drills for, for Coach Peter. He was asking at-home drills for pitchers to gain explosiveness. Well, and we had my brother Mike on here two weeks ago and he was talking a lot about balancing correctly and making sure that there's a good foundation there. So making sure that when we get to our set position and we go through our leg lift, that we're in a balanced and strong position. I think a lot of kids have the tendency of kind of crashing forward. I'll demonstrate it here briefly. But, you know, pitcher, pitcher gets up to his, to his leg lift position and they have the tendency of kind of sliding forward. We see it all the time with hitters too. So, you know, explosive drills, you can even start off with just balance drills and, and making sure that, you know, once that, once that pitcher comes to his set position, he can get here, he can work back down, he can work back up, work back down, and then forward. I think that's a great one, but I'm also a huge fan of just teaching overall explosiveness. Right, that player might just need help, you know, firing a med ball into the wall, getting stronger, getting his core stronger, um, stuff like that. I think I think those are all all good to to de at least start with, and making sure that there's a good foundation of body strength and balance, and you know, stability in their core to to be able to fire.